Hey everybody, hope we're all okay today. Today I am going to do my August empties for you. So this is all the products I've used through August. I'm going to go through them one by one, talk a little bit about them. If there's anything at all in here that you'd like more information on and a bit more in depth, let me know um, and I'll do my best for you. We do have to ignore cat hair during the empties because my cat Conker does like to sleep in the box and everything gets covered. But yeah, um, I've done pretty well this month. It's not as full as normal so hopefully it'll not be as long as it normally is but probably grab a couple just in case. If you hear scratching it is Conker. Um, I've left him in the hallway because uh, he keeps trying to get outside and I've got to have the back door open at the moment and he's not allowed out because he keeps fighting with other, other cats and getting hurt so uh, yeah uh, the scratching is him so sorry about that. So our first item up is the Anatomicals uh, deep conditioning hair pack. So I used two of these last month. Um, I used one towards the beginning just because my hair was looking a bit dry and then um, when I put the hair dye on even though it is a vegetable dye it's quite nourishing this one. Um, I always like to put a hair mask on after I dye it. So I've used two of them. They smell incredible. Um, they leave your hair really really nice. Uh, so we got these I think it was the rocker box in July. Uh, but yeah, it's absolutely lovely. Um, it's definitely one I'll think about repurchasing. And sticking with the hair masks, I didn't actually remember this one. Um, we've got the Beauty Pro Hair Therapy. Um, so maybe I did only use one of these because it's like an empty packet and the outer packet, there isn't another empty one. So maybe this was the second one getting confused sorry um but yeah beautiful hair therapy deep conditioning hair mask this is the one what is the actual wrap with the conditioner inside uh so it's nice and easy to, to use and um, with all of them they recommend around 15 20 minutes i just tend to leave them on until i get bored of them um but yeah again smells amazing and leaves my hair absolutely gorgeous so next up we have two body butters and they're from the body shop and I've got the strawberry one and the cool daisy. The cool daisy is one of the new scents and it smells amazing. Some um, like it to Marc Jacobs daisy perfume but it does smell really really nice. Um, the strawberry smells nice as well. I do find some of the scents more nourishing than others. I don't think either of these are the deep nourishing ones but they still left my skin feeling nice and they smell absolutely amazing. So next we have a body wash and it says what's in it for me, a uh, body cleanser, it's like that. This we received in last month's rocker box and um, I was going away so Ella kept it to one side and I took it away with me, used it then and yeah it's lovely it smelled really nice and um, it didn't dry my skin out anything like that so yeah couldn't fault that one so next we have uh, the plant-based retinol from boots ingredients it's just like that it has its own fancy name but i can't pronounce it so i'm just not even going to attempt to and um, it was nice i'm very much used to retinol um, I use it quite a lot. I'm 34 now, so my skin needs all the help it can get. Uh, this one, I did find it a little bit um, more tingly than normally, uh, than normally I do. But um, I don't know if it's with it being the plant-based one. Um, I have a couple of these from different brands and... Um, It'll be interesting to try the others and see if I get the same. After a, um, a few uses of it, it seemed to settle down. It was absolutely fine. It wasn't a burn or anything like that. It was just more of an intense tingle than I'm used to with retinols. Um, it, it could be that I'm a bit more sensitive to one of the other ingredients in it. Absolutely possible. Uh, but it'd be interesting to try one of the others and see if I have the same with them. If I use a a normal retinol and then go to one of them if I'll still get that more intense tingling uh, but yeah it seems to do the job and feel like that and um, there's no particular scent to it or anything so yeah nice 
So next we have a hair dye and it's from Colour Freedom Metallic Glory and this is in silver grey. So this is the colour I had it previously. And this one's really nice. Um, it's semi-permanent. Again, it's like the vegetable type dye. It's not got any um, bleach in it. So it's not going to over process your hair. Um, you do need to lighten it if you've got dark hair um, it's only it's kind of like a toner um, it won't have any lightening effect on your hair at all it will just change the tone of it but yeah it was really nice um, I just fancied going back to my purple and blue colour um, but I did have this for almost a year I think had it, I had it blonde for almost a year. It may have not been quite that long that I was using this one, but yeah, it is really, really nice. So next we have the Hangover 3-in-1 um, Setting and Primer Spray from Too Faced. So this is like a travel size. I think this was in an ASOS box a while ago, I think. Um, but yeah, I've been using it the couple of times I've been away. I did like a long weekend and then I did a week away. Um, just in the UK <laughs> they were <laughs> exciting but yeah I took it with me both times um it just had a little bit in when I got back so I just continued using it until it was gone because I didn't want to risk taking it <laughs> again in case it ran out whilst we was away but yeah it, it seemed to do a nice job my makeup stayed in place um and it smelt nice. I used it only as a setting spray though. I did use a different primer, so I don't know how it would work with that. Uh, but yeah, seemed nice. So next we have a uh, fake tan. This is the Saint Tropez. Uh, is it Saint Tropez? Saint Tropez. That sounds right. <laughs> Self Tan Express One Hour Tan, and uh, this was just a 50 mils like travel size this came in the glossy egg this is amazing I've actually gone on to purchase the full size I don't tan very of often uh, but it left such a really nice color and when it faded it didn't just go all orange and patchy it faded gradually I did it at the very last bit use a body scrub just to get the last traces off but yeah it was really really nice and um easy to use so you can leave it one to three hours so one hour it'd just be like a sun kissed and three hours is a deeper tan I leave it the three hours because I'm very very pale Um, fake tan you think would go really dark um, or feel really dark because I'm so pale but it seems to um, not take so well on me Um, so I tend to leave it the full three hours and then I get a nice tan and um, it's nothing too in your face uh, just enough so I don't look corpse grey and um, it works really really well so next we have um Olaplex hair um perfector number three um it's just like that this came in the ASOS hair box and it's like a bond rebuilder and yeah it seemed to work really well um it it's a bit different to how you use a mask and things like that so you wash your hair no you don't you use this before you wash your hair sorry um so yeah you just wet your hair you put this in and then you leave it a minimum of 10 minutes and then you wash it out with shampoo and then use your conditioner as normal uh so yeah um it took some getting used to because I've never used anything like that. Um, so to use something before the shampoo and then completely wash it off was a, a little bit alien. But yeah, it seemed to do a nice job. Uh, the condition of my hair did look to improve, so lovely. So next we have a mascara and it's Benef Benefit Bad Girl Bang. Like that, just a little mini. Um... I wasn't overly impressed if I'm honest I know this is a favorite product for many people and um, it just didn't seem to do that much for me and um, I'm quite picky with mascaras I have fairly good lashes um, to start with and if I get a good mascara uh, I'll happily not wear my falsies but with this one no I just used it 
like with the elf one and uh, just to get my lashes black to put the the false lashes on because I didn't really get that much of an effect with it on its own sadly but yeah I know a lot of people do rave on for this mascara but it just yeah not for me so next we have a hand cream from the body shop and this is the moringa one this one is gorgeous and um, it feels lovely it smells lovely it does a really good job at hydrating the hands and um, yeah this one is my favorite hand cream from the body shop that has like a a nice scent and um, my other favorite is the hemp one uh, which doesn't smell very pretty it's quite earthy but still nice um but yeah th this is my other favorite from the body shop absolutely gorgeous next we have a sleep spray from um la chiara which is aldo's own brand um it's 100 mils this was really cheap uh, i can't remember what i paid for it um, I'm sure it was like two or three pounds something like that um, but yeah uh, there's not a lot to say about sleep sprays <laughs> it worked it smelled nice it did the job it said really nice so next we have a perfume from the body shop and this is white musk smoky rose this is absolutely stunning it has a bit of a licorice undertone to it really really nice i was actually a bit sad <laughs> when i used this up um it is absolutely gorgeous whenever i wear it i get compliments um on my perfume uh, so i have quite a few perfumes at the moment and um, when i work them down a bit this is one that i'll look to repurchase Next we have a sheet mask from OK and this is the Skin Clarifying Leopard Print Sheet Mask. It's like that. Um, yeah, it felt really nice. My skin looked lovely after using it. Um, Conquer is getting a little more used to these now because before he wouldn't even look at me and he will actually reluctantly come for a fuss now <laughs> and will make eye contact so he's getting a bit more used to him but yeah really really nice next we have a body lotion and this is girl of now from ellie saab so we got a perfume sample a while ago in one of the rocker boxes i can't remember if it was the normal month one or whether it was a special edition i can't remember uh, but the perfume smelled absolutely amazing. When I looked to purchase the full size, um, I think it was Fragrance Direct had a sale on and the gift set with the 30ml perfume and the body lotion was cheaper than most pl places were selling just the perfume for. Um, so I got that and the body lotion got used pretty much straight up. Normally I find when they come in a gift set, um, the body lotion isn't great it tends to uh, burn my skin my skin's ex eczema prone and can be quite sensitive but this one was absolutely gorgeous um, it smelled amazing it was quite subtle and it moisturized my skin really well so next we have a sun cream from Grum and this is SPF 50 face sunscreen there like that this was really nice i got it on a promotion where it, it should be six pounds but they had a promotion on where you could get one for free and just pay the shipping uh so i did that and yeah really really nice i, I didn't burn or anything whilst wearing it and it didn't um cause any irritation so next we have a, a face cleanser from vitamin no not from vitamin e from the body shop and it's the vitamin e one this 125 mils this is gorgeous if you have really sensitive skin and um, the vitamin e range from the body shop or the aloe range is really really good Um, it doesn't cause any irritation this was really creamy and luxurious and it's it smells really nice uh, it's not overpowering as like a flowery smell or anything like that it just smells really clean uh, my partner uses the vitamin e face cream quite a lot uh, he really really likes it and uh, so yeah lovely next we have a hand mask um and it's the tea tree and peppermint i'm not sure on the brand i get these from home bargains really really cheap under a pound i've talked about them before they do an amazing job and for that price you can't really beat them 
Next we have a sample from Flexitol and this is the Rescue Heal Balm. We got this in last month's uh, Glossy Box. Uh, yeah, it, it wasn't a huge sample, so um, but still it did a really good job. Uh, my heels get really, really dry and they did really appreciate this. Um, I've not looked into it as yet, um, but I'll certainly have a look and see if it's something I'm willing to purchase separately. Uh, sometimes with these samples you think, oh yeah, and then you get to it and they're really expensive. But as long as it's reasonably priced, um, yeah, absolutely we'll purchase it because it did do a good job. Next up we have dry shampoo from Batiste and this is the original classic fresh. I've never actually tried the original one um, and I only go for the um, different fragrances uh, uh, but yeah it smells really nice it does a good job I think we've all used Batiste in his life and it's really good. Next up um, we have a base coat from Nails Inc. I featured this one before it's really nice uh, it dries fairly quickly and um, prevents staining and things like that I've got very brittle nails so um, I like to do as many coats as I can just to to stop them from breaking and this seems to condition them a little bit at the same time so yeah lovely. Next up we have a cleansing uh, butter from the body shop and this is the chamomile one Um, I've featured this one before it is one of my favorites Um, it's gorgeous it's not overly expensive I think are they about nine pounds something like that and you get 90 mils the last a long time and it just melts away the makeup so with your cleansing balms the best way I find to use them is to take a small amount massage it into the face especially around heavier makeup like your eye makeup and things uh, then wet your hands and rub it in and it will emulsify the product so it will go like milky and then after that I take it off with a makeup remover pad, you know like your halo pad something like that or a, or a soft flannel uh, just to make sure I get really into the lash line, get all the mascara out, the lash glue off, things like that and then wash your face with your normal cleanser it'll take that oil off and stop you getting breakouts but yeah this one is absolutely gorgeous so next up we have a vitamin C from the Inculist, just like that. This is nice because it has a little pump so you know exactly how much you should be using. Um, it was not irritating on the skin at all which you can find with some vitamin C products. Uh, the Inculist I do really really like and um, they're really good because they show you exactly what type it is so you can see this is the treat and it will tell you when you are best to use the product so this one is AM or PM uh, some will just have a PM like your retinol and things like that and um, so yeah really really nice and um, it does brighten the skin really well um, and uh, I used it under the eyes without any problem obviously don't take it up to the ash, uh, lash line but on any bags things like that works a treat Next we have a body lotion from Bubble Tea and this is the Mango Ice Tea. So I was um, fairly excited to use this one because I tried one of the previous um, hand creams um, and it was um, one of the cocktail ones and I really didn't get on with it. Um, it didn't do anything for my skin at all but I know a lot of people really like them so I wanted to give them another chance and this came I think it was in the glossy egg uh, I tried it and yeah it's not the most moisturizing Um, I'm not gonna lie and say it's amazing because it isn't but it did do a decent job and um, it did put some hydration into my skin unlike the hand cream did uh, so yeah um, if I was stuck and ran out and I went to the shop and saw this I probably would pick it up um, it did it did okay next we have a br brush cleaner sample it's so hard to say <laughs> fast a uh, brush cleaner sample from ISO clean um, we've had these before they're very good your brushes are left very very clean and 
it also kills the bacteria as well in your brushes um, but yeah you use this the pigment comes out just be very careful if you're using a paint as handle brush if you get this on it will strip the paint off so just be very very careful um, but yeah really really nice Next we have a eye cream from the body shop and this is the Oils of Life. This is like a gel um, eye cream. It's really nice. Um, I've said a lot of times that you, you shouldn't need an eye cream in your collection. Um, your moisturizers should be perfectly fine to take up under the eyes. Um, there are a few that I think are worth the money and this is one of them. Um, it's very good it plumps up the skin around the eye area um, I use it on like smile lines and things as well but unlike some where you get that effect for 10-20 minutes you do get it for the day and basically it is really really nice next we have a cleanser from CeraVe and this is the salicylic acid smoothing cleanser for dry rough bumpy skin so this is gorgeous. I spoke about CeraVe and y'all know my thoughts on them. They do fantastic products, but they are not cruelty uh, free. This was one of the things I got a couple of cleansers, a couple of eye creams before I realized that they weren't cruelty free. Um, so this is one of the cleansers. I think I've got one more left. Um, but yeah, um, if you're not worried about the cruelty free status then you're not going to go far wrong with any of the V products they are good at what they do um it's just morally i'm not prepared to support them if i receive them in boxes things like that i'll use them absolutely i'll use the things that i've already purchased before i knew um but it's not something i will now go and actively support next we have a lip liner and this is from catrice and it's a plumping lip liner um i featured these before they're absolutely gorgeous this one's in the shade the wild one um they are amazing and um, because i've got a scar from a dead bite on my lip scar tissue is extremely hard to cover with makeup especially such as lipsticks and lip liners um, but this one covers it absolutely fine so i tend to draw it in my line i go over the full lip with a little bit of it just so if my makeup wears away you're not seeing the scar um yeah it lasts all day it's really easy to use it's retractable not that you can see because it's completely gone and it's also got a pencil sharpener on the ends but yeah the cheapest chips and they do an amazing job and lastly we have a hand cream from dr botanicals and this is a tropical um fragrance and it's got gorgeous little flowers around it this is lovely and um, it really hydrates the hands it smells pretty and um, i used the coco nar one before that again was really gorgeous i'm in the reviewers club and um, anyone can join that if you just google it uh, and what you get is uh, like secret sales and items that you just pay postage on in exchange for reviews you don't need a youtube channel or a big uh, presence or anything like that um, obviously I've not got loads of followers or anything but all they ask is for reviews either on the website or on social media um, and it's honest reviews as well if you don't like a product you can say you don't like a product uh, that's absolutely fine but yeah um, I've not had a product I don't think not that I can recall anyway that I've been disappointed uh, with from this brand. They're really, really good. So that's my full empties for August. Let me know down below what you think. As I said at the beginning, if there's anything you want a bit more detail on, let me know. These videos get quite long, so I try to power through them as fast as I can. Uh, but yeah, uh, there are a couple of things that just were, were not my cup of tea, but the majority of the items um, I liked. Uh, but yeah, that's everything. So as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you hit that notification bell, it'll just let you know every time that it upload. Thank you for joining me in J-Day. Bye.